Welcome back to Inverted Adventures, and today we're working on this baby. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are working on my new to me, very lately used from a friend of mine, DR10 drag car. Uh, I have a cool project for this. There's a custom body off getting done at the paint shop. Same guy that's doing the body for my project Lightspeed uh, Limitless, but that will be another video once it gets here. Uh, today I've got a couple little things to mess around with. We have a shock mount relocate because apparently that's supposed to be good. I don't really know anything about drag cars, so you guys are going to learn along with me here. But change out some body posts so that get rid of these. Never really like the look of these. They don't look too bad on this car, but if I'm going to get a cool body done, might as well get rid of these and put some little screw down mounts so it hides them a little better. We got some gears, spurs and pinions, wheels. These are what's going to be on it. Apparently Proline made the front wheels with the skinny front tires, but they did not make the back wheels because they say coming soon. So once they come out, we're going to get them so they all match. That'll go with the new car. Just leave these stock ones on for now. But we also got this, and I am super excited about this because this is also going to go in this car so we can finally start doing speed runs and see just how fast she is on 6S and then 8S when I get the batteries. We are going to slap that in here, do some of these other mods, uh, get these tires, get the front tires glued up and ready to go, and just gonna wait, I guess, wait and see how long it takes ProLine to come out with the rear rims. But that's not a huge deal. I just like the look of the Hoosiers better anyway. And we can run these stock ones for now, but let's get let's get at it. So I picked this car up from my buddy Travis at Abbott's RC. You guys have seen me advertise him on the channel a little bit. So he deals in Red Cat and Arma, but he is expanding. Or if you have a special order and he can get it, he'll get it for you. He told me he can get one of these. This was his personal car, actually. He decided to go a different route, so he hooked me up with this one. But that's where I got the car. Had some online coupons, so I ordered some other stuff, but... Travis could get me pretty much all of this stuff. The 3D printed stuff, not so much. That's sourced online. But I'm excited to have it. Excited to work on it. Uh, I might be getting a second one. We'll see how this one goes because I have another project. I'm getting a, a muscle car body for this. But I also am partial to the Toyota Supra. And I thought, well, maybe I'll build two. But we'll see how this one goes. But we're going to get right into it and start working on this car. So what we're going to do here, we have these body posts from drag racing concepts what these do they replace these little pin posts and i guess they don't give you the screws with them but you just run little screws in through the top and then you just got a tiny little screw on top you don't have those big pins or i like to put the pin savers like on this car because i'm terrible at keeping these things in so you don't have those all over your body and stuff like that so i think that'll look all right uh, this is a custom 3d printed shock tower relocate and what that will do is that to move these shocks out. Let's see if I can get you closer here. How to move these shocks out so they're more vertical and that'll help with the weight transfer on a launch as opposed to them being in further like that. So we're gonna get that done. Push you guys back over there. And maybe mess with the spur and the pinion. Uh, see what we got going there and probably get these tires glued I don't know much about the drag racing stuff so you guys are gonna learn right along with me here but uh, first things first is we're gonna do that move that out maybe see if this wheelie bar is adjustable move that a little bit and change some gearing and we're gonna go from there uh, I guess the first thing to do will be get that done and see how it runs and tune it from there so I got some recommendations on spurs and pinions and other than that, I'm not really trying to put it in a class. I don't know that I'm going to competition race or anything like that. I just thought I got all this other stuff. Drag car looks cool. I got a cool body idea for it. So we're going to try it out. And a couple people said just throw a 3S in it and have fun and see what we can do with the gearing. So I think that's what we're going to do. So first things first, what we're going to do is zip these body posts out because we are going to be changing them, but more so because they're in the way of the shock tower. Get these out of here.
there. There we go. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this, and as you can see, the shock mounts are right here. The three stock ones on each side for what they give you. When you put this on here, and this just goes over top, that moves your shock mounts from here clear out here. So you're gonna get a nice vertical shock position as opposed to way in here. And that's gonna help with the weight transfer on launch when you're either playing with it or actually competing with it. So we'll get that set up. So now the shocks are originally mounted in there, kind of like that. But with this, we are gonna be able to mount them out here. And that is gonna make a huge difference in weight transfer on launch with them vertically versus pushing in at an angle like that. So I switched out these screws. These were the stock screws and I put them in here, not realizing that they needed to be further out. Otherwise they wouldn't be long enough, but we are going to be able to Slap this together. These will slide on here now. Come on. This one over here. Maybe. There we go. All right. That is going to give us a way, way better angle for our rear shocks. And what it'll end up doing in the long run. If we need to get in here to work on stuff, they are not going to be buried behind the body posts anymore. They are going to be out here. All right, so now we are all set up. We're going to have way better weight transfer. We might have to move them in one hole. We'll have to try and find out or maybe adjust the... Might have to play with the upper camber adjustment there now that the shocks are in a different position but we will have to put it on the road and find out first so i lied i did end up moving them in one more screw hole because when you set it down just didn't quite have the clearance that i wanted and now just just barely make it there when we squat her down so i think it'll be all right like that hopefully it's not fully squatted like that all the time anyway but we still have some adjustment to make here and over here so I think that is all nice and set up and it should make quite a bit of difference in the handling of the car well we are gonna have to call it a video there because here are my sweet drag concept screw down body posts but they are round and these holes are square and even though they should fit in there they are a little too big so I don't know if I was supposed to get different shock mounts for these or if I'm gonna to have to trim them or what I'm gonna to have to do so I'll have to figure that out but we will slap these suckers back in there so we can put the body back on and I will do some research and in the next video when we start messing with the pinion and spur gears we will put the body posts on so thanks for tuning in guys if you like what you see subscribe leave a comment like the video I would appreciate it tell your buddies uh, drag car content more of this coming Obviously, all the crawler content that the page has. We have some drift cars, some drag stuff. In the background over there, you can see my infraction, which I have almost burned up the stock set of tires in like four days. So I have two more sets of those coming to Abbott's. Hopefully, I can get over there and pick them up this week or next week. And up a little bit higher there, the Limitless. And as you can see, airplanes, those are coming soon when the weather gets nice. So got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, if you guys want to check that all out like i said leave a subscribe uh, i would appreciate that and i will see you guys next time when we pick up this or in the next video of all this other stuff so this is richard from inverted adventures and thanks for watching